What if you want to share multiple flows, including rules, including automations, including welcome message, menu items, everything. What if you want to share your entire bot as a template with others? Well, guess what? You can actually do that through creating a template. In this lesson, I'm going to go over the simple steps of building templates for Instagram automation. So let's go. All right. So to create your template, you want to first go down here to my profile, not templates. This is templates. If you want to install a template on your chatbot, but you go here where it says my profile. So you click on that and then along the top here, you'll see templates. So you click on that and then under templates to create a new one, you just hit plus new template. Then you choose the account that you want to pull the data from the flows from, from your chatbot. And then it will give you a list of all of the flows, uh, growth tools, keyword sequences, rules, everything, everything in your whole bot is here. So you'll want to make sure that you choose by checking the flows that you want. So I have this, these two flows that are Instagram ones. And then you can see here, this FAQ responder, it's red and you can't select it. And it's because it's not saved. If you want to include a flow in your template and you see that it's red, go to the uh, flow itself again and hit uh, publish to make sure that it's good to go. And then you should come back here and then hit refresh elements. Okay. So let's just do this here. Let's say we're going to do this. Instagram giveaway template. Okay. So that includes this template here. Now there's nothing else that's connected to this, but if there was another flow that was connected to this through like uh, start another flow, it would automatically include that. The one thing that it would not include is under growth tools. Let's go here. Um, go to the top here, the growth tool. If there's a growth tool that's connected to it, like, let's say this is the one that you want to connect. It, but it's actually a different one because that actually connects to another flow here. So you can see that actually connects to these two flows here. But let's just say that it was the the growth tool for the template story mentions reply. So it would uh, if you connect that, then it would include that. Otherwise, it wouldn't. And you can see also when I uncheck this. That goes away. So it just has the one flow. So and again, you can connect also um, rules or external triggers. Uh, whatever is part of your campaign or your bot that you're wanting to include in the template. But once you have everything connected, let's just say we're going to also include the main menu. So you can see here that includes all these other flows as part of the main menu. Then you want to hit next step and then you want to hit continue anyways, because that was talking about, um, messenger. So some of these, obviously the menu is uh, messenger with some of those in this example. If you had bot fields in here, then you could set what those bot fields are, or you can leave them as a template field if need be. Um, but if you don't have any, then you can just hit next step and then you name it here. So I'm just going to put IG example template. And then here you can decide to protect the template if you want, which would mean that if somebody installs this template on their chat bot, that they won't be able to, you can see here, they won't be able to copy it or recreate it. Uh, so you can protect your template if need be. Uh, you can add an avatar if you want a little photo and then you hit create this template. So once you hit the create the template, it'll give you a link, a permanent link that you could share with everybody. But if you want to do a temporary link, single use link, then you can do that and then you hit generate link and it'll give you the link that you can then copy and send to somebody and it will expire after the first installation. The next thing though, even though this is created, so you can see here, there are some things that you can adjust here as well. So, um, again, if you're creating this template to use to sell, or, uh, you just need more details to give people, then you can give more details here uh, in the about, or if you have a link for a guide that you link to, here's that, or if you have a video. So if you have an upload uploaded to YouTube or loom, then you can put it there. And then here is also where you can decide if you want to share this with a single link 
or the permanent link. You can go back and forth between them. And then if you make any of those changes and then uh, you can just copy that and then send it. Now, if you want to edit this, like let's say, okay, uh, you know, let's say you updated one of these um, flows. And that's the other big thing when you create a template. Let's say I created this template and I sent it to somebody and they installed it on their chatbot. If I go and update this flow in my bot, it does not automatically update it in their flow. So it's not connected in that way. And also it would not automatically update here either in the template unless I go to edit template and then I go and click on refresh elements and then go back through and hit save and finish it off. Update. Then that way it will have the most up-to-date flows in that template that you want. Now you can share your hard work with your clients and communities or save you a ton of time. Also, if you are in the need of some extra inspiration with your Instagram automation, be sure to join the Manny Chat community on Facebook. Uh, you know, ask some questions there, say, hey, this is what I'm trying to do with my business. Also, you can check out the Manny Chat blog for other brilliant ideas and seeing what other people have done. Also, if you're running into any sort of technical issues building your chatbot, be sure to keep the support page in mind and they can really help straighten you out and get you back on the right path. All right, thanks so much and have a great day.